Good evening, international friends. I'm going to continue the series of the Dafyomi, the wisdom from the Talmud, and it actually comes from page number 90 in Mesechet Ketubot. That respectively is page Tzadik in Hebrew, they call it. So it's a case scenario here. We all know there's laws enshrined all over the world in the governments and everything else that a, uh, the certain age limits where one can marry off a daughter or their son in uh, especially the Western countries all over the world. So uh, the Gemara talks about this, it uh, delves into uh, this specific topic. And it's actually in the Masechet in Sanhedrin, in page number 76, it discusses very much and encourages that a uh, father should be able to marry off his daughter, or even possibly the son, when they come close to the age of adulthood. So what is it, friends, what is this age of adulthood, according to the Talmud, according to the Gemara itself, what it's talking about? So uh, the two commentators inside the Gemara itself, of the name Rashi, and the Tosfot, they actually say that it is between a year or half a year before the Bar Mitzvah or the Bat Mitzvah respectively. So uh, however, the Rambam actually very much uh, speaks against this and says it's a promiscuity for someone to marry, especially his son at this age of uh, under Bar Mitzvah or under Bat Mitzvah potentially. However, the Tosfot actually does state that back in the olden days it was when people we were living in the Galut and the hardships was uh, very, very hard, especially with the rampant anti-Semitism in many, many countries. It was very, very much, there was no choice but to marry off a daughter at a young age, even way younger than uh, Bat Mitzvah was back inside the day because they couldn't afford it at that stage in time. So they, uh, the people actually did that. And uh, I know myself, I know uh, from 80 years back, I know our family originally was from Iran and about 100 years ago, they got mar- due to anti-Semitic reasons also, the women did get married, not, not under bat-, bat Mitzvah, but it was uh, cer- certainly inside the teen- teenage a- ages, it was extremely common back inside the day. So uh, one could see that. But in the Talmud times, it was a big discussion when to get married. It could be because of financial reasons. It could be because of uh, other reasons of being persecuted and they could end up marrying out of the faith and all those reasons. So this was very much a big discussion in the Talmud. So just to summarize, it is that Rashi and Tosfot, those two commentators actually say that it can be half a year or even a year before the bar or bat mitzvah potentially, according to those times. However, the Rambam says it's promiscuity, which obviously the law in Shrine nowadays also very much uh, supports that. However, another thing that we should add is that it doesn't say how common it was back in the day that people would get married at uh, that very young age, which is obviously not allowed nowadays. It doesn't state. It was pro- possibly very, very rare. But it was just discussing the halachic, uh, the, by the code of Jewish law, whether that was allowed or not. But obviously, naturally, nowadays, there's laws enshrined all over the world. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, <laughs> it's not allowed, God forbid, you know, in nowadays. But we're talking about from a Talmudist point of view. Guys, have a fantastic evening. It's Masachet Ketubot, page number 90 I was discussing. Have a great day, guys. Bye.